Hello, it's Demester Low, Pickup Truck Plus SUV Talk. I'm talking today about 2018 third quarter sales for pickups in the United States. This is always a fun topic to look at numbers and argue and fight about. And we get to see how well manufacturers have done with their pickups and maybe how they're not doing so well. So it's a very cold and rainy day here. It actually was snowing a little bit in Western Nebraska. Excuse my hoodie, but I am staying warm uh, because uh, winter is coming. So let's talk about pickup sales. I'm going to go ahead and uh, create a chart for you. I'm going to put it on the screen. I'm going to kind of talk you through and give you my notes on what I think is going on. Feel free to comment below, send hate mail, all that kind of stuff. You know how that works. And tell me how wrong I am, which is eh, possible. Um, what I have done here is I've looked at July, August, September. So if you don't know... Chevy or GM, General Motors, with Chevy and GMC, decided a while ago to only release quarterly sales. And so they feel like that's a better indicator of the business versus a monthly sales distribution. And so what they've done is they've released a quarterly sales, and I've compiled that with other manufacturers. And then I went back, looked at 2017, I didn't say 18, 2017, and I've compiled those numbers. Now, third quarter is July, August, September. I'm doing 2017 third quarter combined. Trust me. I have my handy dandy chart full of math and I looked at uh, 2018 third quarter and there's a couple notes here before we dig into it. July is usually a slow month because people are all vacationing and they're outside um, with the summertime. August picks up a little bit but now you have the new models coming in. You have the 2019s coming in. In this case you have a new 2019 Ram, new 2019 Silverado, new 2019 Sierra and so those numbers are going to impact what's being sold. And so you're going to find that on dealer lots, you have discounts on 2018 and you have the 2019 move in, but they're only going to build the higher trim level crew cab, big bed pickups. They want a full profit right now, what most manufacturers do. And so 2019 is coming in. Now that's a little bit different. Ram did bring out their 2019s early in the spring. So they have been pushing these pickups out for a while. And so I think the numbers kind of show that. And so let's dig right into it. So let's start at the top. We're going to, tell, we're going to break this down to full size and mid size because there's quite a bit of difference here. Uh, full size, we're going to start with Ford F-Series yet again um, on top. Their third quarter sales were a little bit off versus 2017. They're down 0.04%. Not really a big deal. Statistically, that's less than 1,000 units. And it's pretty good considering the competition coming out. Chevy Silverado was down 8.8%. And that is probably indicative of the new Silverado coming out. And that's the 2019, what's just now hitting dealer lots in September. Uh, it takes a while for those volume models, the LTZs, and the um, to get into the marketplace, and so it's it's gonna or the LTs and the LTZs. It takes a while to get those out, and so you're gonna see those sales will probably rebound in fourth quarter. Ram truck was up 7.1 percent. Again, that 2019 has been out selling alongside of 2019 for a while, and so um, I would say that's an indicator of the new pickup and the incitement of a new pickup. The GMC Sierra was down 7.2%. Again, same problem as Silverado. The 2018s are still on the deal lots. 2019s are slowly moving in. Toyota Tundra, the the old Toyota Tundra now, the is the oldest of the bunch in this uh, group of vehicles or uh, pickups. Um, is the oldest of the bunch, and it's still considering selling the same amount of units it has year over year. And you'll find those those numbers are very close. They'll be very much the same over year. Um, just kind of a stalwart. Uh, Nissan Titans is making good showing here. They're up 31.2%. Now, that is the two different variations of Titans that the Titan, the half ton Titan, and the XD Titan, which is the heavy duty half ton. And they're up 31.2%, which is pretty good because the competition is getting stiffer. And so we'll see if they can keep that going. The Toyota Tacoma um, was up big, 28%. That's probably indicative of the Baja facility coming online to Mexico and building more pickups, just increasing their total volume of pickups on the marketplace. Toyota has said for years that they do not feel like they're meeting their dealer demands for pickups. And so they're finally getting around to increasing production. They've been a little slow to the to doing that. Uh, there is a uh, new facility being built, and it should be open, I think, in 2020, uh, then the Guanajuato uh, facility. So that will be, come online, and we'll see what's going to happen with those Tacoma sales. Chevy Silverado was up 6.8% uh, over the prior third quarter. Um, that's uh, that's pretty good. It's it's, it's it continual growth in the midsize segment, which many thought was dead as of just a few years ago. Old Nissan Frontier. I mean, we, we said the Toyota Tundra was a little bit older in the tooth. Boy, that Nissan Frontier is like the grandfather of all these pickups here. It's all these youngins running around selling. Uh, that was up 2.7%. Again, it's a very value-driven pickup, um, very low price point, and uh, you get a lot of capability, in that, especially that Pro 4X. There's a uh, video on this channel about the Pro 4X being a great sportsman pickup. Make sure you click and watch that above. I'll put a little card in. 
Um, and that is indicative of, I think, those sales there. People are seeing the value of the Frontier. Uh, GMC Canyon was about flat year over year, or quarter after quarter. Um, and the Honda Ridgeline, the much ballyhooed and talked about Honda Ridgeline, I guess you shouldn't say ballyhooed, the much uh, criticized and argued about Honda Ridgeline was down 2.1%, but it's holding pretty steady. I mean, you know, again, lots of stiff competition out there these days and lots of new pickups in the marketplace, and that's going to make a big difference in these sales as we keep going. Uh, we have, you know, a new Ford Ranger coming back out. We have the new, uh, possibly Hyundai is building a pickup and possibly BW is being a, building a pickup. So a lot of growth could happen in the midsize pickup realm. Um, it's going to be very exciting to see what fourth quarter looks like and see how see how the Chevy Silverado does and the GMC Sierra rebounds um, and see how Ram is keep moving forward. I don't know. Things are getting fun. Uh, the Ford F-Series will continue to dominate, and I think Ford can combines a Ranger with Ford uh, F-Series numbers. Uh, you see that number even get higher. Uh, there's been a lot of discussion over the years about whether GM is selling well, because if you combine Chevy and GMC, they beat Ford. They've been running about 30,000 units more than them uh, year to date. I don't know. Whatever you want to take. What do you want to take from that? Make sure you comment below, like uh, this video, so share it with your buddies. Uh, send me emails at timpickuptrucktalk.com. Tell me how much you hate it, love it, or just completely think I suck. Either way, thanks for watching. We'll see you down the road.